That baby penguin looks delicious. What's up, dudes and dudes to the internet? My name is Heather. We are back. You have some more Super Mario Odyssey. We just got finished with the ice level, which means that today we're going to be visiting the ocean. Yes, I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I have heard nothing but good things about this level. Jump, jump, my beautiful puppy. I love you, but stop it. No, stop. She's like attacking herself, which I don't want her doing. <laughs> okay, let's go and check out what this level is going to be. I like how we're traveling the globe. Now we can head to the Seaside Kingdom. Let's chase down Bowser. Why is he in the Seaside Kingdom again? Uh, so they're serving frost frosted cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them a defeat first. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. The ground pound jump. One of the first techniques that I ended up teaching you, where you jump into the air and literally ground pound with your butt and destroy the environment. Like, I like how they give us these tips that are like, it's like, they're not even tips. It's just the controls. Wow. That's really cool looking. That's a real cool looking environment here, dude. Oh man, this is so cool, look at this. The glass is half empty. Wow! <laughs> that guy looks so cool. Wow, dude. What's on top of that fancy goblet? Do I even want to ask? Okay, um, my dog disappeared, so I think I gotta take her outside. Give me like a split second of editing time. And we're back and I'm a little bit terrified of these slugs right here because, oh, I thought we were going to take them over. These are the citizens for some reason. But Blaine, I, I like how it's not even an Octo enemy that they usually have in the Mario games. But Blaine used to be a beautiful resort until that fell creature showed up. Just look at him guzzling all of the treasured sparkle water. Okay, is it Voss? Won't you help us put a stop to him? Yeah, I will. Don't worry, I don't really know uh, how or why. Look at Bowser's prints, which way did they go? Uh, obviously they went over this way. What are these weird creatures? No, seriously, what are they? Can I transform into them? Okay. There it is, yes! Okay, cool. Uh, jet forward and hold B to go upward. Ooh! So we can use that as our attack as well. Uh, shake the Joy-Con to shoot in all directions for some weird reason. Not exactly sure why you would want to do that, but it is still really cool. Man alive, we can get really, really tall, though. Okay. Oh, and then we can just fly. Neato, dude. All right. That's really, really cool. I like this character a lot. That's neat. Oh. Okay. That was quick and easy. The Stone Pillar Seal. And, and what about the one that's right in front of my face? Like, can I activate this thing? This is probably what we were supposed to have done, right? Gone up here and did this? Can I please just go and hit it? Ha! What did I do? Whoa! <laughs> Blonk, take that, you stupid, elegant genius! Owie wee! A trial you want! I will never surrender the delicious Voss water! Oh, Baron Von Evil, Lava Head. Why does he have a lava head? Oh, he's mad now. Street Fountain's left. Hop to it. Hey, get out of there, Jub Jub. Stop trying to go behind my computer desk and everything. Whoa! Whoa! That was clutch. I didn't even try to do that. It just ended up working. This is not a level I think that's going to secretly be really, really short, isn't it? Like, it just kind of seems that way, doesn't it? All right. Okay, that was not, uh, I see. We're out of water now. Sneak. Ooh. Okay, that didn't really work out. Those guys just pretty much are dead uh, when they're out of, uh, when they're out of water, huh? Turn to the lighthouse, you must go a bit further ahead. That doesn't really make much sense, but sure, I'll go a little further ahead so that I can enter the lighthouse. Like, that's really, really weird. Why, like, this is cool, but why do they even have these platforms when we could just swim to the same area? 
It's just kind of strange, isn't it? Blonk! What's inside here? No, really, did- oh! Okay. Underwater zone! Whee! Ground pound into it. There we go, and we got another one of these Dumbos. Great! That's really cool, because I was wondering when we were going to end up ever getting... Whenever, when we were going to ever end up getting another power-up, um, like where, where we would end up, uh, boom! It's a one-shot kill! That was stupid! He didn't even show up until, like, the last minute! That's bad! That's stupid, dude! Like, way to go! Can you please just, like, can you grab him? Can you just, there you go, stupid! Like, man alive! Okay, I gotta watch myself then. Because they try to trick us into going right into them. And I'm pretty sure... We just end up dead as soon as they touch us. Uh, it doesn't even matter about like, I don't know if it was because, if it was because of his mouth hitting me, or if it legit was as ridiculous as, oh, you touch the enemy, now you will die. And that's that. Or was it, uh, is it just that they themselves are an instant one shot KO? That was kind of cheap. Okay. At least we kind of got through there. Getting through there with Mario would be insane. Like, yikes. Huh. That was scary, dude. Like, those things were nuts, especially the fact that it's just a one-shot kill. Like, man, alive. Okay. Well, that was still pretty cool, though. It's neat how these levels are starting to kind of be, like... It's like each, a bunch of different multiple objectives that you can end up doing in one map that all kind of have their own little mini game going for them, you know? While also still having the main objective, uh, which in this case is this big idiot in the center who's drinking all the water. Bonk! So is he making the environment worse then? Excellent work, just two fountains to go. Okay. I wish I could take over one of those uh, uh, birds, but well, I mean, maybe we would be able to, but I don't know how. Okay. I see a bunch of pipes down here. Kind of scary. Wondering whether or not, like, what what are these going to end up actually being? Are they going to bring us to 8-bit world? Ooh! That's really neat. Okay. That's so cool. So can we get a nice camera angle of all this or no? We did when we got into it. But that's really neat. So it's like each of these areas is just going to be its own, like, special spot then. All right. I love the 8-bit areas, areas, dude. Like, they're so cool. Okay. Uh, I like how this is the first time we've ever seen, like, the normal little Goomba shell dudes or Koopas. Um, and, 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 and it's, like, not an area where we can control them. Like, it's really weird how we never have had... Uh, a spot where we ourselves could end up actually using them. You know what I mean? Like, I just kind of find it... Yep, I saw that coming a mile away. I just find it strange how it's like, where's the level where we could take over a Koopa? Because we haven't even gotten that yet. You know? It's crazy. Whoop! Okay, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I wish that this dumb water effect wasn't going off on my screen right now, though, because, man alive, that's, uh, that's hurting my face. Like, I can't even tell what's going on right now. <laughs> okay, so we ended up doing, whoops, exactly what we needed to do. And then now, oh, dummy! Jeez! I didn't want to do that. Huh. <sighs> okay, anyways, we ended up activating... Uh, like, not activating, but setting up those bricks so that now we can actually just go over back to this spot, uh, climb down, and this time we'll actually bump into... Uh, bump into the, uh, blocks that we just activated and go and get the moon. Yeah, I don't know why that took me, like, such a long time to say. Jeez, I'm, like, so overly, like... I'm concentrating, like, so hard on not dying. 
that I just keep on like messing up on everything. Like, man. Huh. Okay, uh, we got a giant Lapras who is a store. Whoa! I guess he's just one of the hat stores in general. Yeah, hello. Welcome <laughs> summer hat or sailor suit. Oh. Well, we can't take either of those, so I guess we'll just take the suit itself. Why not? Change now. We got to try and get that sun hat, though, because that's adorable. <laughs> there seems to be, like, in each of the levels, it kind of changes. Oh, he looks so stupid. I love it. Uh, they kind of change the amount of, um, like, what's it called? Uh, the amount of, like, special coins that you end up getting. You know what I mean? Okay, there we go. I see. So when these guys are on the land, they just kind of stand static. And you can end up using uh, their ability to just spray all of the, like, spray all the stuff in the environment. That's really neat. Okay. So what about, okay. I wish that we could end up spraying all the areas that I want, though. Because the water doesn't seem to go down. Is that? Aha! That's more water then, right? Uh -huh. Okay, we got it. Jeez Louise. All right, let's do it. Easy. And we got ourselves those extra coins that we needed. Perfect. And there's a moon over there just because why not? Dude, that's actually really cool. I really like that power up. Like, I don't know why. I think because it actually reminds me of Cameo on the Xbox 360. That was actually one of the first games for the 360, which, fun fact, that game was actually being developed for, I think, the N64, moved on to the GameCube, and then finally got released for the Xbox. <laughs> oh, that was required. Uh, and here I thought I, like, found a special secret or something. Jeez. We gotta go, we at least can go buy our sun hat now, though. Blonk! So now what? Do we fight him as a boss, or... Is that already just the end? He looks so good. Just one fountain to go. Oh. Okay. I didn't know there was one fountain to go. I thought that was already it. Wee! There you go. That was a close one. Jeez Louise. Okay. Let's go get ourselves our hat up. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh. Look at how deep this water goes right here. Like if we ended up, uh, I guess we got to get ourselves one of the stupid fish. Are they called a cheap cheap or something? There's something ridiculous. I don't know. But either way, now we are Sun Man. Sun Mary. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Okay, let's zoom our camera in. Oh, look, it's his new girlfriend. It's kind of gross. I'm going to take a picture. Blue. There we go. Uh, and then I want to dive under all the water and stuff here. There we go. Let's. I, I was going to say, like, where, where are we going to end up getting ourselves one of these guys? Because that was the whole problem is I don't know where they were. Can you please just... There you go. For a game that's, like, telling you to shoot your hat everywhere. Like, come on. Oh, no, it's the Sphinx. Oh, he's going to riddle us again. He's so fat and stupid. I love him. Go elsewhere. No! I don't want to go elsewhere. I'm right here. Can I talk to you now? There we go. Okay. Greetings, traveler, and to your heart as well. Can you answer my riddle? What is the name of this island? Forgotten Isle? Or is it Bub Lane? That's, that's what, uh, yeah. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. That's what one of the snails ended up saying, so we got lucky with that one. Real lucky. Because otherwise, ha uh, <laughs> Yeah, the Forgotten Isles, I think, was another area that we ended up going to already, right? Maybe. Either way, Power Moon! So we needed that one. That one was cool. I liked that one, because that was, like, very special, you know? Kind of, like, felt like we actually accomplished something there, because we ended up not only getting a riddle, but we had to dive to, like, such an insane depth in the first place. Whee! I am Fishman. Freedom is my ally. Ooh, look at that. So that is obviously going to be... There we go. Yes! Awesome! That's what I was counting on. So now we only need three more. 
which means uh, we'll end up getting... Oh, that means we're already good, because we'll end up getting the multi-moon um, from the big boss dude. Ooh, that means this level was surprisingly short as well. Can I? Okay, I gotta take over this fish, because we are super duper slow. Maybe because the next level's gonna be, like, really, really big. I would assume that's what's going on. I don't know why I'm gathering these coins. Like, it's not like we need them or anything. <laughs> like, really. We. I like that. I like that we can, like, dive out of the water. Is that even what it would be called? I don't know. Uh, but we got more purple coins down here. I guess there is that sailor outfit. But, again, this isn't, like, a perfect series or anything. Like, I'm not going for 100% in this Let's Play, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, pirate Goombas, huh? That's hilarious. Like, seriously funny. Good stuff, Nintendo. They look great. Yes! Look at this. Look at that great shot right there. I mean, granted, we got all the sand in front of our face. Ah! Move, Mary! Move your butt! Look at him. He's not even, like, chasing us properly. That's not really a good action shot or anything. But who cares? That's cool. Okay, so what's this about? This reminds me of Zelda. They always had stuff like this. Okay. Um. The music is getting insane. And these things are starting to be crazy and all over the place. Oh, jeez. I get it. So what we would have had to do... That kind of sucks is um bring a really high tall goomba up here to go and talk to that female goomba because then like she's all like oh you're really impressive and beautiful and handsome as well so i'm going to oh okay so i'm going to end up giving you a power moon because i love you right which we're not gonna end up doing that no sir no ma'am i'm not gonna bring that thing over to you lady that's kind of cheap, though. Like, it's really cool. I enjoy this level. But I wish that it was a little bit longer, you know? Because otherwise, generally, these levels kind of seem to be varying in their length a lot. Like, the... Yeah! First bit of them was, like, 40 minutes each, and now suddenly they're getting to being micro-levels. Which is perfectly fine. I'm just kind of saying that I'm noticing it. Maha! I like how he, like... Yes, I'm angry. Okay, um, take back the sparkle water. Take it back? How do we take it back from him? No, like, really, how do we take it back? Like, that's kind of... Do I have to chase him down and attack him or something? I don't, I don't get it. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Oh, I get it. Yeah. So we gotta do this. Yes! Ha ha! Well, that ended up working out quite well now, didn't it? Whoa! Watch out, dude! Watch out! This is so cool! This reminds me of, like, uh, Mystical Ninja starring Gomon or something. This is so weird. Like, this is barely a Mario level or something. Oh, dude, it's so cool, though. I don't think we have enough... Ah! Oh, man! Like, really? We're like so slow, dude. Jeez. Is that like, is there a trick to this guy that I don't know? Or are we legit just supposed to like, cut him off or something? Oh, I see, we corner him. Yes, take this stupid, I'll squish you into the ground. What? What? That was a weird thing that came out of his head. Take that! Nice! Yeah, I know it was. Thank you. Where's he going? He's going into the big blue yonder. Come back here, you freak! I guess he's also kind of like a Zelda boss in that regard, too, you know? Because he's kind of, like, really unique and, uh... Well, he's really weird. Uh, but I mean, like, you always kind of fought bosses like this in Zelda. You know? Really reminds me of the one that was in Jabu Jabu's belly or whatever it was, right? Nah! I got you! I think I got you! I think I'm gonna run out of power. Yes! Oh no! We did run out of juice. Oh man, we didn't end up damaging him enough. Okay. 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 Man, he's quick. Yes! Squish him! Oh man! 
Stop cheating, you! We got him caught! Uh, I thought we had him caught. Squished! Take that, weird tentacle monster. He looks so cool, though, dude. Like, the character model is great. Uh, I didn't know that we killed him, though. That's kind of brutal. <laughs> All right. Um, well, then. Oh, wow. That actually looks beautiful. It's the McDonald's arches. <laughs> right? Am I the only one who saw that? That's cool, though. That is totally like, um... Totally like Mario Sunshine. Like, I love that. So, even though I, I was kind of hoping what we were going to do today was have, like, this episode, you know, kind of be its own, like, one level all to itself. Because otherwise we're going to end up going to the next level and then it's going to, like, the episode's going to kind of cut off halfway through just for the sake of time. So... Yeah, I don't know, like, do we just go into the next level and just cut it off halfway? I guess we could just do that, but I, I kind of like the, like, I kind of like having the series be more focused on, like, oh, the, you know, an episode 11 kind of thing going on, right? But we kind of got a little bit off track there, just because the level's inconsistency in their length. So, I guess screw it, I guess we'll just go into the next level. I see another power moon right there, which is probably related to the Goombas again, maybe? I don't know. But yep, yeah, we'll, we'll just go into another level, why not? Let's just see what we got. Volcanic? Is that what that is? Or a poison level? To the Lunch Kingdom? Whoa! Okay! That looks beautiful, I'm down for that! Like seriously, that looks great. I, I mean, because otherwise the trade-off would be that this it would just be a shorter episode, which is perfectly fine as well. I, in retrospect, I probably should have ended up doing that, where it's just, you know, one episode equals a level, regardless of the length of time. But, ah, that's okay. Who cares? Because I'm, I'm really excited to see what this next area is going to end up being anyways, right? Okay, so Bowser wants to make a toast using sparkle water. Sounds like his wedding preparations are moving along. Seeing as how we got some time to kill, let's review a useless skill. The long jump, where you end up holding one button and then pressing another button. Stupendous stew. Stupid stew? <laughs> no, really, that's, uh... Oh my gosh. This might be my favorite level yet, but it looks really, really tiny. Like, we might actually be done with this level really quick. But wow, that looks so good. Oh, this is such a cool looking level. Wow. Look at that. Okay, never mind. This is going to be a long one. Like, uh, I could just kind of tell, like, look at the amount of uh, moons that it wants us to get. Well, anyways, let's get a nice uh, screenshot right here. Bloop. And then also, just for my own sense of well-being, I want to take a peek and see all that beautiful stuff. We got a big giant dragon up there or something that we're going to take over. That's kind of scary. Seriously. All right, Chef Goomba. I did not want to push him into the ocean. But that's cool. Whatever. So what's the deal with this? Okay. Take this, tomato! What? Dude, that's cruel! That's so cruel! And that is a bean! That's so cruel, we like, peel his skin off. That's, that's brutal. I don't know if, like, jeez, Nintendo. We peel his skin off, and then he like, just turns into, like, he just kind of evaporates. Wow! We can actually be the lava thing? I didn't know that. That's awesome. I didn't know we would actually control this, dude. That's so cool. And then uh, there was a dashing as well. Awesome. Oh, those are jelly beans, not beans. Oh, no. Hey, the fat, dumb, tall idiot is gone forever. So maybe we're just getting rid of them now, finally. Ha, hee ha. You stole a whole boatload of this place. We stole a whole boatload of this place's stupendous stew for the boss's wedding chow. But I'm gonna head back up the volcano to finish off that stew after I'm done with you. Meh. Fight me again for the final time. Hopefully. I don't quite. Okay. 
So he seems to generally just be the same as last time. Maybe he isn't. Yep, I figured that that was going to end up being something I needed. That heart out of there. Okay. I see, the level is just like bigger. Is that the point? Is that the point? Boom! Bad! Take that again. Okay. So is this really, like, I'm just surprised because the, the last uh, brutal uh, that we ended up fighting, uh, we ended up kind of fighting him on ice. And it was like something different and tough. Whereas this was no different. He was just as easy as he was last time. Like, I don't really understand. So he exploded again because we always have these guys explode. Ooh, blue moons. I like that. Yay! Uh, hopefully he's gone forever this time. What is our food costume going to be? That's what I want to know, dude. Because that's, uh... I don't know. Are those supposed to be, like, crackers? Under the cheese rocks. Oh, dude, this reminds me of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I love that show, and I love this level. Frying pan Koopas? Did my eyes deceive me? Like seriously, whoa, that's cool. Hello, weird fork. These are the citizens of this level. That's terrifying. Like really, really weird. Okay. Um, so what's the deal with all this? We could actually climb all the way around, it seems. What, what's the point though? And what are we climbing on exactly? Yeah. Is there a point to all that? Was that just for fun? <laughs> I think it was, but ooh, tons and tons of coinages. So I don't think, just based on like how this level is playing out, I don't know whether or not we're going to be able to um, get ourselves the costume with all those purple tomatoes. What the, hello. Play some slots. The Tostella game that's winning worldwide fame. It's 10 coins to play. What do you say? Power uh, Moon can be won. All right. Let's try it. I hope. Um, is it just a slot machine in general? Use your hat to throw a line and end up. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, it's right after the normal red moon. All right. Right after the normal, uh, not red moon, red uh, heart. Oh man, that was so weird on the timing on that one. Well, at least it's possible. Yeah, let me do an hour try, please. Oh, Nintendo. I wish, like, that's one thing that I wish they would fix in these games is their retry is never, like, it's always so brutal. Like, just let me retry instantaneously, please. Yes, perfect. Thank you very much. So now I don't need to do that anymore. However, getting those hearts would actually be really, really good uh, because we would actually get them less than the store. Like if we end up buying those uh, same hearts and all the same items in there, essentially we're getting them for 10 coins or we buy them out of the main store for like a whole lot more. You know what I mean? Ooh, what's this? Is this just a secret? Uh... Okay. Good thing that we just randomly ended up catching that because otherwise I didn't even think that that would be anything. I was just smashing them so I could get through and see what that was about. <laughs> Is this an ingredient too? That's actually really funny. Like that's that's what the that's what that power moon's actually called. Okay. So I'm guessing that there's like a there, there's got to be a power moon for like kicking all the cans or something, right? There just kind of has to be. You just know it. Unless they're just there for fun. Oh, hey, look, finally, we got one of these guys. I love his animation. Uh, this is a place where the chefs, only the chefs can enter, okay? That means that sh that's gonna be a chef costume that we get from these guys, all right? Probably from this guy. We only have 12. Ooh, we only need a little bit more. And then Paint Mario. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Well, let's buy our chef outfit first. And at least that means we have incentive to get ourselves the full chef suit then, right? 
Uh, we're going to be able to buy a Power Moon off of this guy. For sure. And then hopefully, does he have a new suit? I like how it still says new on all of those wings. Like, those aren't new. We could buy ourselves the Merry Boxers, but... I don't know if we'll ever, like, maybe we'll see those at the end of the series or something, honestly. Because I don't really want to waste my money on it. Pirate Mario! Clown Mario! Oh, dude. Okay, I'm getting the pirate costume. Because that actually looks really, really cool. <laughs> and then we should take a look at the, we should take a look at the clown one. Like, that's way better than buying ourselves the, the other boxers there. Who cares about that? Okay, let's take a feat. Because we'll swap over to Chef Mario in a minute. Oh, he's so cool! Oh man, that's awesome! And Halloween just passed as well. That would have been perfect to have it. Oh man. Okay, uh, is there... Oh, this guy probably wants ingredients, right? Not the cans. You find any turnips? Plop them in here. Gold ones too. Oh yeah, especially those goldies. Okay. That's kind of strange. Well, where is... Ooh, there's got to be a power-up or something that we can use to go into the water all the way down there. Because, oh, maybe it's just this guy, the fire guy, right? Yeah, there we go. So now, this is going to end up giving us enough uh, coins to get the full chef suit. So that's cool, at least. Woo! Um, I think there was, was there a checkpoint over there, too? Probably. What happens if we get on the land as these guys? Oh, yeah, they just turn off. Um, um, aha, I was wondering where exactly was it that we were supposed to go. That's pretty cool. So we actually go through the grading system when we're the fire. Interesting, because we had to use that for that spot. So I got to keep that in mind because maybe we'll end up getting to use that um, like in some further levels or something, right? Woo! Oh, I get it. Secret around the corner. Oh, and that was like not the one that we wanted to go for. Uh, oh gosh. No! I don't know what that was about. Oh my goodness gracious, this is insane. This is insane, dude. Yikes. Well, at least we got that done somehow. That was a pretty cool little bonus area, but most of all, it was insane because if we ended up messing up, we would have just fallen to our death, like, instantly. Jeez. Okay. Fire guy! No! Bad, Mario! Bad! I did not tell you to do that. There's another one of those weird cubes we can't do anything with for some reason. All right. Well, anyways. Uh, actually, is there a fast travel point just up over here? Oh, there is one, but I don't think I... Did I not grab it? Or is it uh, that we can't fast travel while we're in this costume here? I don't know. Uh, costume. While we're in this creature, I mean. Um, dash faster by shaking the controller. No thanks. Whoop! Okay, that was scary. Pretty sure this is a dead end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it isn't. I mean, you can clearly see that it isn't. Like, seriously. I guess at least it's just telling us outright that, um... Oh, yeah, this is just for those coins, and that's that, right? Okay. So, can we fast travel now? Yeah, okay. So, it was because we were transformed. I didn't know that. So, we can't uh, fast travel while we're in the form of something for some strange reason. Whatever. That's fine. Dude, this is so cool. Look at this. Yeah, there we go. Let me take a picture of that. Not only does Mario look absolutely adorable... Um, but we also have the beautiful colored background. Okay, so let's get ourselves our chef costume here. So we can go into that other guy's bonus level. Because we got to try and get as many of these power moons as we can. Uh, just so that we can actually complete this level in the first place, right? Let me get my chef's hat. I don't need my art hat. Although that is very cool. Whoopsie daisy, I should have put that on. But, oh well, whatever. We can just put it on here. It's not like it takes long to swap the outfits. Okay, it does, because apparently... <clears throat> when you press the A button, he just leaves. And that's all there is to it. So I was supposed to swap them, then press the button. <laughs> okay! Ta-da! I am Chef Mario! I shall cook you a delicious pizza! That's what I want. Or spaghetti. I would love a pizza. 
Like seriously. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I'm supposed to talk to you. Then the door opens. Uh, you have opened the door with the, your smashing good looks. Thank you. That's a really strange compliment, but I, I approve of it. Okay. Nothing worse than a so-so summer. All right. Shake the stupid controller. Whoa! Okay. Um. I don't. I. I don't quite understand why Mario is not like doing the things that I want him to do. Okay. That's not good. Idiot! You stupid dummy! Like I love how he bonks his face on it instead of just grabbing the ledge. Like, come on, dude. Seriously. So what am I supposed to actually do? We got this pot. A good simmer really brings out the flavor. But you know what? Could be better. A little hotter. Um, that'd do it. But I just uh, get more heat from that lava. So I think there's supposed to be lava like up at the end or something that they're trying to say. Or are we supposed to be bringing those dudes into it? Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, Nintendo. Bad Nintendo. Bad. So we got... Yep. I thought that's what was going to happen. Throw your hat at him, stupid! He's, like, camping up there. Because he sees us. No. Throw it up! Up! The Joy-Con control is up, 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 up. Man, like look, this is prime example right here of how bad the Joy-Con actually is. Like, jeez. Okay, well anyways, I understand what the game actually wants us to do. Is, uh, I, you know, it's, it's fine. I, I just wanted to kind of see what was going on. So they, they want us to actually do this where we use the lava of these guys to climb around the environment, which is still really cool, but man alive, dude. Okay, stupid. Awesome, whatever. So, uh, headed that out this way. So I think we were supposed to have gotten the lava dude up into there or something. I don't care. <laughs> Let's just pretend that we did it because I frankly, I, I just don't care. Like that was just, ugh. There's some areas in this game where it's just, like, not a good time for me. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's go and do this. Oh, great, these are platforms. They're so trippy, dude. That's so cool, but they're so scary. Like, what are we supposed to do? Now, what I want to see is, can we... Yeah, I was about to say, can we actually, like, hit them with the lava? Or I was worried that it was going to end up killing me. Because we were, like, you know, uh, gone in, uh, like, hit him with the lava, but then in actuality, it was like, oh, no, that's just gonna end up killing you. Because guess what? You're, um, lava. You know? Uh, so what can I do with the cheese? Can we do anything? We gotta be able to do something. Like, clearly, unless we have to use these chef guys, right? Okay. Can you, can you... Can you do, like, the homing attack, dum-dum? There you go, stupid. Like, jeez, this game. That gets rid of the cheese. That's what I wanted to see. Shake the controller back and forth like an idiot with the Joy-Con so that you can end up uh, throwing more throwing more of these things. I don't really want to, so no thanks. Bloop! Special bonus level. Yeah, this is going to be a longer episode for sure. Uh, okay. This is really cool. I like it. Oh, I get it. I get it. Because the whole thing is we're going to be trying to cut the cheese in a very, very specific way so that we can navigate up the environment without accidentally destroying too much of the cheese that we can't end up climbing around, right? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Uh, so his shots kind of seem to be homing a little bit. He'll never shoot lower than we're standing, though. Oh, he will because it arcs up. Okay. Well, then. Uh, this is kind of scary. All right, let's see what we got over here. Oh, there we go. That already got it. I didn't know that we could actually get it uh, by hitting the coin with our... Like, with our frying pan. You know what I mean? Okay. 
So it seems like they're doing a pretty good job of having this area set up so that if we end up making a mistake, there still is all these platforms going on. You know? Okay. There we go, that's another one. And then what? Is there is there one in the corner here? Maybe? There kinda has to be, right? Yeah, so there's one, and then we got one left. Where's that going to end up being, though? Is it, is it, okay, it's probably over here? Right? It's gotta be over in the corner here, because otherwise, where is it? Like, this is so, it's kind of cool, I like it, but it's kind of, like, what do I, what am I actually supposed to do? Where, where, where's the spot that it would end up being? It's gotta be like on top of the lava or something then. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I knew that we would have to get it like somewhere over the lava. It was just, it just had to be, right? Okay. So there we got in our power moon at least. We're doing pretty good, we're doing pretty good. But yeah, today's episode's definitely gonna be a longer one just for the simple fact of uh, trying to get through this level here, right? And there was also that weird dragon at the top of the mountain. I'm really curious to see what that's about. Because seriously, that... Oh, my face! That looked really, really cool. Homing attack! Homing attack! There you go. There you go. There you go, Mary. Just destroy everything. Like, seriously. Why are we throwing frying pans? Like, that's weird. I like it, but it's weird. What do we do with this? I don't quite understand. We're supposed to attack that somehow, some other way. All right, well, anyways. Let's just get through the environment here. Jeez, he was right in my face and I could barely hit him because these frying pans are so inaccurate. All right, switch. Oh, that already did it? Sure. Whatever. And then we could probably climb over that. Ooh. We got some crazy magic stuff going on up there. That picture looks so ridiculous whenever they end up showing, like, somebody using the Joy-Con. It's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. So that's going to end up activating more of our pathway, right? I do like those Koopas, though, dude. Like the Hammer Bros. I, I do like using them. Ooh. Um. Big pot on the volcano. Dive in. It's a bird! That's what it is. Look at that multi-moon up there. That's gonna be such a tough boss. Like, yikes. I'm scared. Okay, what are we, um... Yeah, Peroni! So they want us to use these guys to kind of navigate a little bit more, huh? Uh, a bunch of purple things. That seems to generally be just what's around this area. It's just all the purple stuff. Huh! There we go. Okay, let's try and complete this. Because we need to get our hands on the, um... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We need to get our hands on the Power Moon. But, uh, okay. I don't know if I like it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That's quite scary, dude. Oh, my. Oh, my. So, is there another Power Moon up there? Yeah, probably. I hope that's a far enough jump. I don't know if it is, though. Like, uh, is this guy gonna be able to make it? Yes, just barely, yikes. Okay, power moon, huh? And then look at that mess in the background. Like, okay, I, whatever, Nintendo, sure. Cool, it better still keep that dumb power moon because I'm not doing that again. Like, jeez Louise, this game. I was trying to actually take a picture but for some reason, the camera wouldn't actually activate. Uh, and instead, it got me killed. So, uh, huh. Really happy that that ended up happening. So is it is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Good. So I don't have to repeat that. Oh, gosh. With this joystick? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is so bad. This is almost as bad as... You know what? Screw it. Okay, he just doesn't have any momentum for some reason. Whatever. Man. Like, Nintendo, like you and your gimmicks, dude. Oh, you know what? 
I guess I can't complain though, because at least we're not using the stupid Wiimote, right? Like, at least we're not, like, you know, trying to balance it. <laughs> so, you know what happened there? I was saying that we're not trying to balance it, and while I did that, it made our character dash forward. Man, like, I both love and hate this game. Like, I love the game because it's, like, so good, and I hate it because it's also got some of the stupidest mechanics that I've ever seen. But that's just kind of, like, we just kind of got to deal with it, you know? Like, it's like, that's Nintendo for you. Ha ha ha. They can't resist. Like, they can't just leave it alone and just have it as a good game where it's just, like, no dumb controller gimmicks. <laughs> you know? But as I've said throughout this whole series, folks, that's just me. I personally am not a fan of, of the motion controller. Like, I, I find it really, really good in specific functions. Uh, but I really don't like the fact that they kind of force us to use it in a lot of uh, regard. Like, we can, again, I, I know full well that we can turn off the motion controls, okay? I know. But then we end up losing, uh, you know, some of the special abilities that we don't normally have without the motion control. Uh, and then more so than that, we lose the homing attack. But generally speaking, I'm finding that it's a little difficult for me to pull off specific functions like the homing attack and stuff. Uh, and so because of it... What? What? Ew, we're meat! That's so gross! Uh, and because of the fact that we can't really, like, uh, I'm not really pulling off the homing attacks very well. I'm probably just going to end up turning the motion controls off very soon. Oh my. He's going to eat me! Like, <laughs> this is the weirdest, like, what? And I like how it's got derpy eyes. Like, the bird is, like, stupid and it knows it. It's a meat eater, too. That's so cool, but weird. Like, okay. What are we actually supposed to do here then? Oh, no. Do we actually fight the bird or do we just navigate this crazy environment? And then there's our multi-moon and that's that. Like, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's try and get this rolling here. Literally. Okay, it's a good thing that he wall jumped there because otherwise I'm having a tough time just getting over there. Yep, random multi-moon, like no boss, no nothing. Okay. <laughs> why? And why does our ship like need so much power? Like we still don't have enough power to end up actually going unless now there's gonna be a second phase to the level or something, right? Oh. He's got weird sounds. What the? He's blowing me away! No! Really, what's going on with this beautiful chef? This, this chef bird? Wow! That looks amazing! Wee! Wah! Am I dead? Okay, climb up the cascading magma. Okay, climb up the same thing again. Oh, thank goodness, it's actually a new area. <laughs> I thought it was like, climb up everything all over again. Yo, we blasted all the way back here. That's one angry volcano. Uh, and the volcano is still erupting. I don't think it's alive. I think it's just a volcano. You should calm down a little bit. Oh my goodness. Well then, we've got a whole bunch of different options now. Is this fire guy gonna be able to... Man, he's hot. Ah, oh, he's hot! Ah, oh, you stupid game! Why didn't you just throw your hat? There should be, like, you should really, really be able to, like, press a button and press a button again, and it pulls your hat back. That should really be a thing in this game. Because, ay caramba, dude. So many times I'll just be like, is this enemy ever gonna respawn? Like, seriously. So many times I'll just end up, like, throwing my hat, and expecting it to come back to me like a proper boomerang so that I could end up actually like hitting the enemy, dude. Like, yikes. Okay, so we were supposed to have gotten that uh, female Goomba over there a little while back. 
I want to go over here, though, because I want to be able to... There we go. He's back now. Because I want to be able to... Uh, there we go. I want to get these multi-moons, because I know we're going to need them, dude. There we go. And then, if this guy ends up working with the cheese, although I don't think that he does, which means that we would have to skillfully bring a chef all the way back. I mean, maybe he'll work with the uh, cheese, because otherwise we got this over here. Nope. Really? Okay. Can these fireballs, uh... Nope, never mind. Whatever. Throw faster by shaking the Joy-Con like an idiot. Okay, no thanks. Let, let's go, let's just go for it. Let's just say forget it. Let's grab this guy. Shake the controller. Marshmallows! I love it. Can we do this? Is that what this is for? What the? Yes, launch or exit? Can I launch myself better or something? Whee! Why didn't it put me where I needed to go? Ugh. Like, I don't get it. Okay. Well, at least we got our Chef Boyardee again. That's not a chef. That's just the fire guy. I thought it was going to end up being the chef. Okay, so this... No, that's not going to end up being a power moon. It can't be because it's not glowing. The game's pretty good when it comes to all that stuff, right? Usually it has it all glowy and cool. Now, I'm hoping... Like, we're, we're going to be able to get a power moon out of this 8-bit area, right? Like, we have to... We have to be able to. Take that, stupid. Because they always have one. No, I guess not this time. Maybe there's a secret wall over there, but that's okay, whatever. Oh no, they're requiring us to do this corn thing again. No! Ah! No! Ah! Okay. Okay. So anyways, hopefully we can get like maybe one or two power moons um, out of this. Just so that when we, okay. Just so that um, when we end up going up to the top, we end up getting the multi-moon, right? I think that's what's going on. Usually that's what it's doing. Whoops! Okay. I get it. Wee! Bloink! That's neat! We gotta get a multi-moon, because we're gonna end up fighting the bird. It's weird that they gave us a multi-moon for doing absolutely nothing, though. Like, just for climbing to the top of the volcano, you know what I mean? Oh, that was already the... Oh. That was already that segment, like that chapter, and now we've got just this. Which is Coquetial Showdown. Okay, so we're gonna go up there and then we're gonna end up fighting that guy. That's awesome though, I love this level. Like, this is my favorite level so far. It's so colorful and awesome. Like, really. Okay, so we would need another fire guy. Yoink! I don't know why I said yoink. Oop! Okay, where's this going? I want to go to the treasure chest and get myself a moon. Please? Ah! Oh, I get it. We would have to use those piranha plants. That's not a moon. That's coins! Okay, so anyways. We were supposed to use those piranha plants, I guess, skillfully. Uh, to set ablaze the fire that was at the beginning of this uh, part of the map. Okay. I love that. It reminds me of Lego Ninjago with the, uh, there's, there's like these shark creatures in it that are like, num, 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 num. And it kind of sounds like that. Be careful on those platforms above, Murray. Okay. I will. Ah! There we go. Bloop. Which pathway do we take? Huh. Which pathway do we take? Oh, gosh. Can you... Dummy? Oh, that was lava! Oh, that was hot! I noticed that just last minute there. Oh, we got some fruit coming down, unless that's... Uh, no, that's peppers. Okay, over there is just purple stuff. Sunny D. And if we had a special... Uh, if we had a better thing for jumping up here, or... I'm gonna risk it. Oh, that was close. Because otherwise, this is going to be my heart, right? I need my heart. No heart. Just more money. I guess that is always a good thing. Ah. What, do we, what do we do here? Is there a shortcut that we could do? Oh, I, I get it. I get it. Oh, this is going to suck. But I get it. 
Okay, let's do this. Okay, come on. No. No! Oh, man. I know exactly. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. Can you get up there, you idiot? I, I want a backflip. I hate this game. <laughs> like, seriously, just... Just, just climb up there, stupid. Okay. Okay. There we go. So, we need to backflip, and then I need to instantly do a wall jump. Instantly. All this just for a shortcut, huh? Okay. That's cool, Mario. Don't do the command that I told you to do at all. Alright, I'll start tapping it like my life depended on it then. Because we gotta wait for it to rotate. Okay. He just didn't wall jump that time. This is great. And then I shake the stupid. Okay. Options. I didn't. Okay. Can I pre Can I pause? Can I get into the stupid menu? Like seriously, give me a break. Pause. Options. Uh, controls. Where is it? Use motion controls. Let's just turn that off. That's gotten me killed way more times than it's been useful. All right, so let's just do this the legit way then and forget about all that other garbage. Can I hide under here? Okay, good. That was scary. Bam! All right, I don't even know how I ended up making that jump. Oh, there's my heart. <laughs> I needed that like 10 minutes ago, but that's cool. And then here's our shortcut. Wow. That worked out so well for us. Okay, look at this. Okay, stupid. That's great. Let's just try the exact same thing. There we go. That's all I wanted you to do, Mario. Like, seriously. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to get up there now because I can't do this. I turned the motion controls off. I turned them off. Okay, um, I'm going to go to the options again. Like, I turn them off. Use motion controls. Off. Oh, that's for the camera. Okay. No, that's, hmm. So you can't actually turn the motion controls off then. Uh, unless it's a different button. Horizontal camera sensitivity. No, you just can't turn the motion controls off. I wish I could. Oh well. Maybe it means some of our actions are going to end up being turned off, but uh, I can't for the life of me. Oh gosh. I mean, there's no way to properly get that timing. It's not like it's in sync with the music or anything. This level is uh, vastly becoming... Wow. Nice, nice checkpoint. Nice, Nintendo. This is becoming like such a chore. All because like, uh, you know, I was kind of expecting it, honestly. I was expecting, because Nintendo always does this. It's one of the things that I hate about them. Like, I love Nintendo. They're a great company. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but there's one thing that I absolutely cannot stand about them. And it's their gimmicks. Uh, but more so than that, it's the fact that they can't resist. Like, it's like, the game is always kind of like, like, all, all of their games always kind of suffer from this one thing. Where the controls are tight enough, you know, they get the job done. It's, it's all good, it's all great, it all works fine. Uh, but then eventually it always gets to the point where the requirements, like what the game actually wants you to do, uh, like are always held back by like the sloppy controls. Look at this. And then if I do it on the ground, now he does it. Whatever. Maybe you just can't do it in the air. I mean, I thought I did earlier, but that's cool. Um, okay, so if we got the fire dudes over here, this would actually be a lot easier. Cool. Can you just, like... <sighs> but they always do this. They always do this in their games where it's like, everything's all good, it's all great, it's all grand, and then suddenly, they just randomly are like... That was too close. Suddenly, just out of nowhere... They're always like, oh, by the way, now we want you to do something very, very precise with our controls that are just a little bit awkward, you know? That just always kind of happens. And I know I'm just getting, like, overly frustrated. I know. 
But really, dude, it's like one too many deaths, like cheap deaths of just like accidents and mistakes that are just like, okay, I, I was talking and animating and then the controller got me killed. <laughs> All right, anyway, so this at least is going to be the highlight where we're going to fight this guy as a fire creature. So that's neat. Do we just hit him with fire? Do, do we just hit him? Like, is that the point? Yeah, we just hit him and his big old fat feathers. Uh, and then go up the stream, I guess. Right into his big ugly face. That's actually really cool. Tremendous. Uh, yeah. I like that a lot. That's actually really, really cool. It seems to be the exact same. Okay. I mean, I literally hit him, but sure. It seems to be the kind of very similar to that pyramid boss though, right? Like, he kind of ended up doing uh, something very similar. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Where we had to, like, get up to him while a bunch of things are attacking your face. Wow. That was really tricky to do. Take this. Oh, I see. We just can't hurt him again uh, right away. Apparently. A unless we're specifically supposed to attack his... Nope. Nope. He just won't let us attack him right now for some weird reason. All right. Well, anyways, I hope there's another heart somewhere around here, game. Okay, this time we just can't... Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't... I can't even see! This is so stupid! It was cool! It was so cool! And then out of nowhere, it's just like, uh, by the way, this is like ridiculous because you can't really see what's going on. Yikes! <laughs> At least we got him because that could have gave me trouble for a very long time. Wow! What a difficult level. Man alive. Like, really, really awesome. I loved it. But, jeez. Come on. Like, just grab it. <laughs> Man alive. Like, I, I, I know, I know I've been frustrated a lot in not only just these recent episodes, but especially this one. It, it's like, on one hand, you know, these are just criticisms that I have about Nintendo and their games in general, which I know is going to trigger a lot of people because people are like very biased towards Nintendo because they're Nintendo. And I, I'm a fan, I'm a big fan of Nintendo as much as the next person, but when it's bad, like when certain things are just like badly designed, it's just badly designed. Now, don't get me wrong, as far as like wanting a difficult, challenging platform game, sure, that's awesome. But when I accidentally roll off of a cliff like that, like that's, that's not good game design because I'm just animating and talking while having the controller in my hands, you know? So anyways, let's take a quick little peek at what the next level is going to be. And then otherwise we're back on course as far as the Let's Play series is concerned, because hopefully the next level is gonna be a longer one uh, that we can just have the next episode be the next level and may maybe we'll just consistently end up doing that. Whoa, is the next level already the second last? Cause otherwise our sale is almost fully done. Interesting. Uh-oh, looks like we're actually gonna go fight Bowser or something. Uh, now we can head to Bowser's Kingdom. Wait a second. Oh, that can't be good. Okay. That's really cool. That I very, very, very much doubt that the next episode's gonna be the last one. Like, there is no way. Uh, but then again, this game has been beaten. Like, I'm pretty sure the top speed run right now is like an hour and 40 minutes or something ridiculous because of the fact that there's so much stuff that you can run around collecting. And that's the thing, too. Just in closing for today's episode, I want to be perfectly clear about something here, folks. Um, while I'm getting frustrated at the game and everything like that, most of all, I do want to say that I'm getting frustrated while trying to commentate, while trying to move forward. Because for myself personally, I've always had a very hard time uh, when I'm playing a game and let's playing a game and I start getting stuck on a certain spot because then I kind of feel that that's going to be an opportunity for people that are watching the video to just be like, well, this is boring and then they leave, right? So I kind of end up getting frustrated at the game and frustrated at like my own inability to play it when I'm doing a let's play because I'm trying to progress. I'm trying to constantly end up going because one thing I want to make perfectly clear is 
while I've been playing this game on my off time, just off camera, you know, I've been messing around with it myself, just kind of learning the controls, getting better at it while also casually playing through the multiplayer with my girlfriend uh, and I'm playing as Cappy and she's playing as Mario but I in that regard like when I'm just messing around with the game off camera and there's no tension uh, and there's no like trying to progress I have a lot of fun with this game that's where like this game is great but when I'm doing the let's play and I'm trying to get to the end, it just it makes it like so tense. So I just wanted to be clear about that in my frustration frustration in today's episode. But in any case, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Next episode is going to be Bowser's Kingdom. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. And that's also going to build up loyalty points in my merch store. Links are in the description for that, as well as everything about this game. Sign on, stay epic, everybody.